I love, I love, I love so much on the set. It's so good. Chris, you making yourself comfortable over there? Yes. Got your underwear on? Yes. Hand in your, never mind, in your pocket, I hope. Yes. Relax. I was just telling Chris, man, I'm tired today. I don't know why. Not enough coffee. We're going to juice ourselves up later and get more coffee. Today, it's time to escape. Come with me. Join me. Let's get the hell out of this real world before more crazy things happen and jump into a fairy tale world. Today, we're going to look at the continuation of the wiki sets. By now, the Alice in Wonderland book should have been out. And I have reviewed the Cinderella and Ariel, the Little Mermaid ones before. I think they're absolutely amazing. So this video is a combination of the remaining ones that are available on my store, BrickMeUpScotty.com. And in case you didn't know, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. This is Bemis. What's up, Chris? What's up? What's up, dear? What's up, dear? Oh, no. No. Your uni brow? Uni brow, dear. Yes. Oh, hell no. We're going to do the remaining books here. And we're going to save the best for last for this original Alice in Wonderland set, which I absolutely love. Actually, I love all these ones. So, if you don't know, Wiki is part of, as a Kickstarter company from VG. I think it was a copyright name issue which was originally was from Semblblog. So what you're basically looking at is kind of like Sembo's sub-brand. And they have a lot more sets that they're trying to push to come out. I hope they really do come out with them. Anyway, here we go. We're going to look at these. Well, the first two that we're going to look at is Wiki's fairy tale book, The Little Mermaid, 506-176, and Cinderella's, 506-174. They don't indicate how many pieces are with these ones, but it's pretty small. And then the third one that we are going to look at is the Alice in Wonderland Upside Down book, 506171. Okay, so this is the mermaid box. Unfortunately, I don't have Cinderella here. I thought I had it, but I think I just threw it away because a bunch of you have been ordering these sets from us and I, the boxes for these I had to just collapse and throw away. I did save this one. It's a pretty straightforward box. I mentioned before in the last video that you had to kind of like tear through the cardboard to get to it. It's empty inside. There's nothing inside there, but I love the artwork here. And if I just show you here on the side, it just says mermaid. And then a little bit of a design there. And then on the back here, your little description, the book does open up and oh, the crease there. Oh, damn it, man. The Cinderella one is similar in size. It's just a different color. And of course the picture is different. Now the other set, has a really cool box. This one, you don't actually need the boxes. I mean, it's bonus if you can get it. We have some people that want requested it so we can ship it. But this one kind of goes really well with it. I love the design. So this is the Alice in Wonderland upside down set. And it is an amazing box. And there is the logo for the company that they worked with to design this thing. They have a whole backstory. I'll show you guys a couple of screenshots of all the work that actually goes into making this set. Incredible. It's, it's a lot of work, man. So yeah, it's good. Like that's why it costs a little bit more. That's why no one wants to sell it to you guys because they're not gonna make money from this. But I wanna sell it to you guys. I think it's amazing, man. There's the back here, all the technical brick information and warning labels and all that kind of stuff. What makes it special is that you can open it up like this and be like, ta-da! And the sets and the bags are in here. Move these out of the way. And then you put the set on top of this part and it looks amazing. So I'll put the set on this later when we look at it. Those are the boxes for you. So here's the manual. First set we are going to look at is Cinderella. So the same deal as the other sets, they all kind of have the same thing here. It does say Cinderella here in Chinese. I kind of wish that was a picture. If I open one page there, you can see it's all very, very easy to read you guys. Anyone can do this for ages six and up. And you do get this bonus envelope card. It's the same as the other one. So I'm going to skip the other sets because they're all the same style, same thing. You just get this pretty card that tells you where it's coming from, what you're going to do with it. Thank you for buying us. You know, it's a better looking card than my one. Maybe I should make my Brick Me Up Scotty card super elaborate like this with my better handwriting. So there you go. Now onto the set. So here's the Cinderella book. Acts exactly the same as Alice in Wonderland. So there's no surprises. We all know that it opens up. Design, everything is very, very similar, which is, to me, is amazing. I think these are super, super sturdy sets. But there you go. That's the front of Cinderella, again with a sticker. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good with a sticker, but you're gonna have to use it because it shows that it's Cinderella. If you don't use it, it'll be pretty plain. You can get away with not using it first and applying them on later. And I like the sticker. I like the design of that Cinderella. It's very different from the Alice. You got Cinderella and peeking through there, like that's the pumpkin and the wheels here, you know? Yeah. See, I love how they design it, like part of that into the book. I didn't even notice that until I'm like seeing the camera now. I'm like, oh, I thought it was just like a picture frame thing, but that's like her pumpkin ride. So on the bottom, we got some greens, the pumpkins, the little animal there. That's the same guy from the other set. They use more of the whips here as the wheels. That's genius, man. Then the outline of the carriage. I want to say chariot, I don't know why. And you got this little gold piece along the top. The four corners, exactly the same. They use a lot of this gold trim, the chrome. I love that. If I flip it here. On the side here, you got the latch. Those are stickers there. It does not lock, but still a very clean presentation. Nice idea. Now swing it to the back here. It's pretty simple, but there is a balcony, which is really neat. And you got an extra figure or an extra Cinderella. That's like the rundown Cinderella, right? Before she puts on her dress. The poor Cinderella. Oh, she's poor, okay? That's the poor Cinderella. She looks so poor. We'll come back to her later. The part that I really like is up here. It's a little glass slipper. And you build that. And I'm like, yo, that's like a bookmark. That is so cool, man. So now let's open up the book. Reminder, you had to open the spine just a little bit so you can open the pages nicely. If I open it up and go, yeah, there's Cinderella. She's walking through or going to the ball and she's going to meet her prince. In this case, kind of looks like a king up there. You can open up the back and let more air in and go like, give it more of a three-dimensional dip right there. Look, ah, there we go. So it looks like a bridge, a little mini bridge. That is a red sticker going along the bridge. And I... I had so much fun decorating this. It was like so cool. It's minimal, but it's nice. It's open. You can see inside pretty clearly. Your hands can go inside the set just fine. Trees along the corners there or branches and flowers. And even the ones in the upper corner there were the clock. That is a sticker on the clock. It's a pretty straightforward design, man. That wasn't difficult to put together at all. If I go to the last page here, there you can see a bit more of this grand staircase that goes up into that balcony. There is a light that hangs down. I can actually turn it on. You have to take this light out though and kind of twist it. It's one of those twisty lights. And let there be light. There's a very pretty light. And you got another staircase that goes all the way up to that balcony. It's pretty minimal as far as design goes for this specific one. What I like about it is that it has this pillared look. It just looks like a castle, even though there's can't really fit that much in here. Unfortunately, the back, those are stickered windows. Damn it, man. If those had been like stained printed pieces, I would have been super, super happy with the set. But there is a stud there on one of the steps so the character can stay there. And that looks like the prince, or in this case, the king. You got a little torch flame on the top there and a little picture frame. Yep, pretty simple as far as design goes. And if I flip this first page back to show you the other side, there's not really anything going on. Everything. Some of the things do have to be built from down up, like push up the branches and stuff. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy to get through the set. And, you know, if I actually take off the figures here, let's take off the figures and we're gonna look at the figures one by one. But just to show you the set with no figures here, there. I do kind of wish it was more castle theme on the inside or more like a ballroom, but I guess it's kind of hard to, you know, everything's going up, right? You can't fit so much in here. So you can only do so much. So you just went out with like a red carpet. It's almost like a red carpet thing going through the first floor or the first page and the second page. And then here's a look at the balcony there that does have a couple studs there so you can stand your character or more stickers there. Along the back, those are all stickers. Yeah, those are going over multiple tiles like, oh, damn it, man. The Little Glass Slipper by Charles Perrault. As far as sticker goes, they look totally fine. The last piece to the set it's the spine. If we open it up here, which some more stickers there and go, Ooh, spin it there. What's inside? Oh, Cinderella's room to clean. They have a broom there, fireplace, a sticker, the cobweb. And on the top, that is a printed dress or an outfit. Whose outfit is that? You got a bucket there and a little birdie. But hey, you can't fit any figures in here. It's not like the Alice one. But I love that they stuck with the theme. It looks amazing. This one is actually a little bit easier to open and close, so there's more space there. You know, I like this little birdhouse hole right here. Little window. That's a cool idea, man. Now let's look at the figures with the set. You've got the poor Cinderella. 
her raggedy clothes, and I think the hairpiece couldn't quite fit on yet. It's a little bit loose for mine. I don't know if I'd like force it in there or it's like rubber. The hair is more softer than before. But this is, that was only a minor issue. She still looks really good. I like her cheeks, a little dirt mark on there, a little bit of printing on her sleeves and on her back. It's very cool that they included two Cinderella's so you have choices to use. Okay, now this Cinderella looks a little different from the last set that we did. I oh, know she looks like she's in her pajamas, man. She is all printed. I guess the colors are really pretty. She looks really happy. She kind of looks tired though. Look at her eyes. It looks like she's getting old or something. Uh, lots of printing on the back. Very nice detail. That's Cinderella for you. And of course you got the prince, but I guess I had to use the crown. So he looks like a king here. I like his printing too. And he has a necklace piece that goes around his neck. That was actually pretty neat. And I'm pretty sure this is the Burger King guy from the VG set that I reviewed. Remember the food stalls? Popcorn stall, that was cool. A lot of people still ordering that one too. So thank you for ordering from us. So those are your figures. And that is the Cinderella book for you. Let's look at the next one. Dear, are you enjoying this so far? Yes, I am. I want a deer book. Yeah, right, we need a deer land, like a deer version. That's what I'm saying, man. We, we gotta do a Brick Me Up Scotty book. So when you open the book, you can go into my world. Sending out orders can be one page. The second page can be me sitting here doing the video for you guys, and then you can just close up the book. Right, dear? I'd buy that for a dollar. So now we're looking at The Little Mermaid. Yes, I love all these fairy tales. I wish there were more. Now they do have another set that is not on our store because I don't know how popular figures with little sets are, but if you want to inquire about that, let me know. I'll put like a more description. Here, you know what? I'll put some pictures right now, I'll show you guys, okay? So they have these characters that are sitting in their vehicles you're super small, but you have Little Mermaid, Cinderella, got Aladdin. So that would be amazing if they had the lamp and they did like Aladdin and the genie coming out. Well, hopefully they get the rights to doing that. Okay, back to this. Little Mermaid book, amazing that they're totally different from one another. There's a comparison there. And in fact, if I pull out the Alice really quickly from the last video, which you probably just watched. There you go. All three, totally different but same style and design, it's amazing. These are so good, man. The front here, I love this, the fin, her fin sticking out, the little tail right there. She's like jumping into the water, the little fish. That stuff to me is awesome. Like I wish there was more of that. And unfortunately you do have this damn sticker. That's okay though. It's going over all the tiles. I wish, I wish those were printed. Anderson, the little mermaid. It's a minor thing. Don't use it if you don't want to. It'll just be plain looking. You still know what it is. More of the gold trim there and the stickers on the side. But this is probably my favorite bookmark. You have to actually build this little tiny boat. Those are stickers going along the front and the back. But it looks like it's going on some waves. Got the waves there. And I love doing that. I was like, yo, this is so cool, man. Bookmark boat. Yes, please. Exactly the same deal here. Latch, but no stickers there. It opens up like that. And then we come to the back side here. Good thing is not a whole lot of stickers on the back for once. What I love about this is this design of the underwater castle, I guess King Triton's home or Ariel's home area. Am I allowed to say Ariel? Ariel, mermaid, mermaid's home. And they put a lot of heart into this. You can totally tell they put a lot of effort into this thing. The see-through windows, those are all printed, except for the sticker on the bottom, which is Anderson's fairy tale. Yeah, I can just stare at this all day. Okay, we're gonna open up the first page. Ooh, there we go, okay. It's obvious it's gonna be an underwater theme. This one is not too much going on. I think my favorite is still Alice in Wonderland because it's like the forest, dense, and just looked amazing. Uh, Cinderella is more simple, but castle style. Then it looks like they used a lot of elements from the last set I reviewed for you guys. So starting on the bottom, you got all the coral, I guess you can say, starfish, and you got the dolphin, oh, the famous, Dolphin, at least the dolphin matches in this set. He's not being hung upside down like the other fishing store. And you got the mermaid here, same mermaid, but she's not chromed out. If you want the chrome mermaid, you have got to get the other set. The other set is worth it just for the chrome look, right? And we got a crab here on the side and that's it for the first page, it's so minimal. And that's okay with me. As long as it's playable and it's minimal, I'm okay with that. Now when I open up the second page, someone's gonna fall out and be like, oh. Okay, so she can't stand in there. Who is this? This is the mermaid with feet. Just like the original story. I don't know, I only know the Disney one. Anyway, 
Let's just look at this last page right here. It's like the throne room. King Triton's room. Look, he's got the spear up there. Or it's Aquaman's room. I guess you could totally make this Aquaman's book, man. Just change up the colors a little bit and you'll be fine. What makes up for the set is the gold. All gold trims everywhere. You got little gold fences there on top of bottles. I like that design. Gold trimming along the top of the pillars and it's just enough space to put a figure, but there are no studs to hold them down. And you got some seashells there along the wall, two gold micro figures and that gold spear. One thing you might notice here, I think I used the wrong colored brick there as a white. It's supposed to be this beige. You might get mixed up in the colors just a little bit because this beige gets easily mixed with white. There's not too many colors of white, but that one, maybe I'm using the piece somewhere in the set without knowing, but anyway, this is the angle from the other side on the front here, so you can see it kind of mirrors on both sides. So it's pretty plain here, and nothing hanging down here except for some like curtain look or water thing. I think the only other downside to the set is don't push on these pieces because they can kind of pop in and out. Don't be too rough with it because it's not held down on the top there. Minor, minor thing. Now you're gonna ask, what's on the spine, Scotty? Let's bring it back here so I can show you. Open it up here and go. And turn it there and go. Oh, nice, look at that. Okay, we got a chrome statue. Yes, more chrome. Always like that chrome look. Will these rub off after a while? Probably, yeah, might just rub off on the thing, but hey man, that's awesome. It is a little bit plain on the top. There's not much going on. There are two boxes. If I take those boxes out, inside the boxes, you got some jewelry, some treasure. So I guess that's like, this is Ariel or the mermaid, sorry. This is the mermaid's treasure room. Does it fit with a the theme? Not as much as Cinderella's one or Alice. I don't know, maybe they couldn't figure out what to put for the mermaid. What were they gonna use, right? Anyway, that is the little mermaid. Let's look at the figures that come with the sets. So you get this. Mermaid with feet. She's so happy, but she has no voice because the bad girl, Ursula, am I allowed to say that? Took her voice. Her soul belongs to her. Her hair piece was fine. I like her dress, the printing. Oh, I think I got some jam on her. Let me check. Or that, the printing. You know, my kids were playing with a the set. They had to get the food, the hand all of the food and rub it on there. Oh, that actually might be like scuff from a painting. Anyway. I like her dress, I like the color, printing all the way around the back. She's got some like arm or shoulder decoration on her. And look at her legs, man. I like the design on that. She's got really fine printing on there. She looks super happy. What a really cool figure, man. The other figure is exactly the same as one from the other set. She looks really, really good. Matches with the set and I like the groove of the fin and all that good stuff. She looks great. You know, I almost forgot about the light brick. There is a light brick, it's kind of hidden. You open up the spine here, and right there, look. So if I try to use my finger to turn it on, and then you open up the page here, and it's supposed to light up that corner there. I mean, I, if you had no light, it might look a little bit better. It's kind of bright here, but that's just a bonus to have the light bricks. So the books, all the books come with one single light brick. All the bigger sets, the one I reviewed before, and the one that's coming up uses this light strand, a light brick, and a regular light brick, if that makes sense. You're gonna see that in a second. But there you go, these are the two books that are available. They're absolutely amazing. I love these. Okay, let's look at the last one right now. So the last set we're looking at is part of their other fairy tale series. This is the Alice in Wonderland upside down book. I've actually been waiting for this one to come first. The other ones came first, those two were Really tricky to build, but they looked absolutely amazing. This one is by far my favorite. It looks like the most fragile, but dude, this was the most amazing build ever. And it's super sturdy. It hasn't fallen apart on me. Dear, how are you liking this one? If anybody, I deserve to be in this set, damn it. Same deal. You only know what set it is if you look on the back. But, you know, I gotta admit, it's quite a nice job how they do the book and the manual on the printing. Whatever is faded, it's already been built. Pretty easy to follow. You guys will get through this in no time, hopefully. Very small sets, you know. There's the card that you get, Alice in Wonderland. And I haven't even opened this one yet. Same deal, just like all the other ones. Discover more at vam.ac.uk. Okay, I'm gonna spin it for you guys on this camera to show you how beautiful this thing looks. 
So the whole idea and concept is that the book has been flipped upside down and everything's falling out and it just looks like everything's going to fall onto the ground. I've never seen anything like this before. I know I see that quite a lot in my videos, but this one is pretty far out there and it was so much fun to put together. It looks like some things do want to pop off and then some things might, but it's actually easy to put back on. So I bring it over here and this one has two lights. So the first light is like a brick light that's inside this tree. So if I twist the book along the top here and try to turn it there, oh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It probably could like, there we go. Like it wants to kind of flipper, flip, flicker. It might be like the light brick might be dying or uh, maybe I have to put use more force there. There we go. All right. The second one is a strand that goes up this tree or whatever is falling out of here, the books turn on there. And the light is actually inside the book along the top. That brings so much more flavor to the set. And in fact, Chris, do you mind just turning off the lights now? I think the book ones are like really minimal in terms of how much light goes through because it's just like a single light. But this one, you guys deserve to see all the light shining down there. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. That looks awesome, man. I'm just going to keep spinning this thing for you guys like over and over. So the set is on multiple plates all around. So that is a little bit tricky. You got to be careful when you're putting things together and pressing down. If I actually hold it up for you guys, you can see I can hold it here just fine. It does look very flimsy there. They're using some Technic pieces to hold it down. So it, it, you know, I brought this from my office. I'm like, yo, dude, this thing actually survived coming all the way down here. Just very little things popped off, which are the usual suspects that might pop off on this thing. Back to the front here. You got some mushrooms along the side. This one will pop off on you, but all the others are fine. They use more of these whip things. You got so much greeneries along the bottom. I love the green and the pink flowers there. In front of this tree, there's actually a clock here with a sticker on it. There's a book here too, and it has a printed, is that printed? Yeah, it is printed, of Alice falling through the rabbit hole. And this is just a loose book, so this can either just go here, or if you wanted to, you can put the characters up here and have them mess around. It's a little bit plain on that part. They have some playing cards there. King of Diamonds, Nine of Hearts. And then we got the first character. Let's just look at the character while we're here, or the figure, a rabbit. Very different, the face is like all rubber, holding the gold key, printed outfit with the hearts on there and he's running through and I guess Alice is gonna chase after him. And then you got more playing cards here on the side. Unfortunately, some of those are stickers. Are they all stickers? I can't remember. If it looks really good, it's probably a print, but should be some prints and some stickers. The deck of cards is actually going all the way up the tree. So we got more, you got the ace of diamonds, you got the jack of spades. Look at that, just like the cards look like they're really falling down. You got a lot of them there. And above the cards, there is a small little lamp. And then on the back here, you got a giant gold mirror. That thing is amazing, man. I'm pretty sure that's a sticker applied on there, but the gold trim makes it look so nice and unique. And they're all held down by transparent pieces. So it gives it that little floaty feel. And they go into the Technic pieces. So it they all hold in there pretty good. Like I said, nothing actually falling apart on me. I thought this would fall apart on me. Come back to this side here. You got Mad Hatter's hat. And you got an umbrella down there. So he's somewhere. And this big clock, stopwatch clock there. That is a sticker. You got two signs down there. Tea party that way. Cool little sign. You got this big, nice couch with Alice jumping off or falling through it. Just so you know, this Alice is exactly the same one as the one that I reviewed for you. So jump back to that, Alice, to see how she looks, because it's the same, man. And behind that, you got the grandfather clock that is upside down, falling into the set. Last but not least, along the top is the book. It is slightly different build than the other ones, because it's a lot smaller. And thank goodness, you don't have to do much to it. It just sits flat like that in a slant. But the worst thing about the set is, yeah, those are all stickers along the top. Alice in Wonderland, and down the rabbit hole. But underneath, looking up, it's pretty simple and pretty easy and straightforward to put together. You can see all the wiring, and those are where the light strands go inside the set. And there you go, that's the Alice in Wonderland falling down sets. I think this one is actually one of my favorites so far this year. It's so different and unique. Sometimes it's not about how big the set is, small, and it doesn't even have to be that many pieces. And to me, this just looks amazing. It looks like 
and scene going on, which is what I love. So that's the Alice in Wonderland falling down book. It is now time for dimensions. So break out your base plates and they're one by four bricks. We're gonna do the two books side by side. So I get through this a little bit faster. They will both sit on a plate just fine. In fact, all three will fit just fine. So I'll spread this apart like this, just to show you guys there. Both books are 15 studs across. Now by width, if I stack it like this way, Cinderella sticks out just a tad bit more, like by one stud. You're looking about 10 studs here, 11 studs there. Now it's time to break out your one by four bricks. Let's do Cindy Relly first, put this here. And that is around, oh, pretty close. 17 bricks in height. Mermaid is a little bit more. Oh, it's just shy of 19 bricks in height. Now let's check out the upside down book. Despite how odd looking this one is, because the plate is like rounded off and it's on multiple plates. If I put it here and measure it out so you guys can see that, it is actually 20 by 20 or 21. That's really close. It's like almost the same on all four corners. So definitely enough room to put on your base plate, create a little bit more jungle theme going on. I don't know, man. So for the height of this one, I'll stack this right here. That is around, or it's actually maybe lower than that, 17, 18. It depends how high up you want the book to go. Or it can go like 17 bricks in height, it's a little bit tighter, safer to go 18. So there, at least you visually know how tall this is. So if you wanna put it on your shell or you wanna put it somewhere else, I don't know. There you go, you got your measurements. Time to drop these things. Well, well, well. So the upside down one, as you saw, fell apart, but only the book mostly came off. And it's actually very easy. It was just by hand to snap together. These two, holy crap, man. You know, when I dropped the Alice book, it was totally fine. I was telling Chris, we dropped the last book and it was A-OK. -okay. Maybe I went a little bit higher on these guys, but boy, oh boy. Well, thankfully, they're not big sets, but still, that was kind of surprising to see both of them completely shattered. I hope you guys enjoyed that. For me, it's not too bad. This would be really quick to put together. It's okay, guys. It's plastic brick toys. Nothing to freak out about, you know? One day I'll probably freak out, but right now I'm okay. It's fine, man. It'll be fun to put back together. There you go. That was your drop test. Do not drop these books. So there you guys go. Wiki's fairy tale series. They're all available in the store. I hope you guys really enjoy them. Get them if you can. You know, I love to sell this stuff to you guys. I hope you do support us and buy it from us too. And, you know, save on shipping. Add a bunch of them together. Don't ask for the boxes. The sets look fine as they are. They're amazing. Thank you so much for watching. It's time to work on more videos for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. Now, just to show you guys really quickly, this is the box. So, you know, if you really wanted the box, you'd open this up. You would take this one out, throw this down there somewhere, take this set. Okay, I'm gonna just go like this and put Alice right here. There you go. And 
This is how it's supposed to go like that there. So you can close it up and be like, People come over and be like, this is my Lego set. Look at the Lego sets. No, come over here, guys. This is my alternative brick set. Oh, wait. Big L doesn't have this one. That's right. Look how amazing this looks on the stand. I'm just messing with you guys, but it looks actually amazing. I love the artwork in the background there, too. You got the rabbit here, mushroom. And on this side, you've got the card. Where's Alice? Time's running out. Yo, this is awesome like this. I do like it like this. So you might want to pay a little bit more just to get this set up. You don't actually really need it though. It'll take up more room. But I just wanted to show you guys. That's what it looks like in the box. Time to get rid of these things. Where did I put all the manuals? I have no idea.